Hey guys, today we're going to be making a uh, shadow effect on a ball that will be animated. So go ahead and get started, make a new document, go to the oval tool. Uh, I'm going to press the uh, shift key to make a perfect circle, so that did. Okay, yeah, once you have this done, um, make it whatever, whatever color you want it to be. Okay, now what you can do is click convert to symbol, put a ball, it's a movie clip. Now first thing we want to do is animate the ball. So we'll put it right at the top. On the 20th frame, insert keyframe, put it down, create class between. Okay, make a new layer, call this shadow. Once again, take the oval tool, make it black, take off the stroke, and make a shadow. <clears throat> so I'm going to put it right about, right about, let's see. Alright, there. Okay. Now make sure that your shadow, the uh, shadow layer, is underneath the ball layer so it will overlap it. Okay, now <clears throat> with the uh, shadow, you want to right click, convert to symbol, make your movie clip, and call it shadow. Now let's move that over just a little bit. There you go. Okay. Now you're going to want this starting right there, and you want it to be a little bit bigger. Something like that. Okay. Thought it needs to be over. Okay. Now, with your shadow symbol selected, you want to come over to filters, you want to go to uh, blur, to blur it a bit. I'm going to use 9 on high quality. And then you want to come over to color effect and go to alpha. And put the alpha to, we'll say, 65. That's good. Okay. Now, as you can see, there's a shadow, but it looks like it's not following the ball how it should be. So, on the 20th frame, the last frame, right click, insert keyframe, and now you're going to want to size it up, or actually down, so we'll put it down to right about there. Make sure that it is in the middle, move it over a little bit with the keys. Now, inside the uh, frames for the shadow, you want to click Create Class Between. And as you can see, you have now made shadow effect for a ball that is bouncing. So, if you want to do the other, <clears throat> if you want to make it moving back up, all you have to do is take all these frames, right click, copy frames. Right here, so paste frames. Then you want to take all of these, right click, and you want to reverse frames. And now, um, on the last frame, which should be the 40th, you can take the uh, take the ball, kind of. Move it down a little bit because it's not going to go back out to the same height that it was. When it's bouncing. <coughs> and. There you go. And if you want to change the shadow too, because it's not going to be as big, do about that. And there you go, you have your shadow effect for a bouncing ball. 
thanks for watching and make sure to comment and subscribe